<laughs> what is up everybody? It's Brandon from Trailspin TV. We are here today in Chicago, my boy Leo's house. We're adding rock rails, a roof rack, and a rear steel bumper to the Jeep. Welcome to Trailspin TV. All right, this is the instruction for both the tire gate and the... Uh, you need instructions? Right, that's, um, you know, instructions are, like I said last time, they're for people that don't know what they're doing. So the key doesn't want to fit into the wheel end of it, which is quite the problem when you're trying to take the wheel off. It's a Jeep thing. You sure this is the right key? Dude, I don't want to strip it. Let me see the ratchet. I already had the ratchet. Oh, this oh, is why ratchet's not on there. Though. This is why people pay to get this stuff done. The <laughs> Look, that's how far in it's going. You can see. See where it's black. We got to go all the way in, and it's not going. Because if duck can you sense my fix. frustration? How many people does it take to get a wheel off? Um, uh, well, it depends. Exactly, go <laughs> yourself. <laughs> so, as you can see, we did a good job making sure this won't come off or get stolen. Yeah, nobody's stealing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. That moved. I just feel like it didn't line up, but. <laughs> God, you're so smart. Just wasting time. You've never done stuff like this. Put your tools away as you work, as you're done. Otherwise, you'll have too many tools laying around and then you can't find what you need. <laughs> What's with the zip tie? Uh, that's a piece of foam. Because <laughs> I'm a big fan of foam. Because everything on this Jeep rattles. Oh, okay. So that's just so to make sure yeah, you hold moisture here so yeah. it'll rot away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Got it. That's, that's it's, a good idea. It's all about upgrades, man. So while he's doing that, let's talk about uh, Trail Spin TV's t-shirts. So when you got a nice lifted Jeep and big tires, your Jeep becomes really slow, even more slow than it is. So we changed the trail rated badge to snail rated. Got the logo on the back. Put the link in the description below. You can order it on Amazon and get it in three days. That's how long it took me to get this shirt. It comes in six different colors. Gray, white, baby blue. Grass green. I don't know why I call it grass green. We're gonna just say Kelly green. Kelly green. Check the link in the description. Find out what colors are available. We're actually gonna come out with black ones too, with the white logo, because uh, people like me, we like wanna, our black. We like, the, we like the black so we can hide the boobies and the, and the bellies. Hold on, hold on. Let me out. I, I, I'm pretty sure I can do this myself. Just... Yeah, but I don't want you to drop it on my head. Oh, look at that. See, we know what we're doing. Yeah. Right. The nut on the inside, that's rusty. PB blaster, PB blaster time. <laughs> Let's... Yeah. So PB blaster is a um, it's magical it's spray. A it's called a penetrating catalyst. So you just spray it on rusty stuff and it eats away the rust and makes things, uh, it's a motivator. Makes yeah. things move. Usually you want to spray it like, if you know you're going to work on something and you got to take it apart, then it's usually better to spray it like days in advance and just keep spraying it. That way when you go do it, it'll be nice and easy to get it off, but... These two, huh? Yeah, spray all that in there. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, those are pretty oh, rough. Boy. So. Anyways, back to the show, right? All right, we got a wire brush. We're gonna try to clean up the threads a little bit because there's so much rust and dirt and stuff built up on them that as we're trying to get them out, they're just getting tighter and tighter, so... Because a lot of the stuff is just building up on the threads and then it's not... Is that one to come off? And what was the problem we were facing? Facing? Facing. So there's two steel plates that are supposed to slide in here with welded nuts on them for the new bolts to attach the new bumper to this frame. And they appear to be missing. So that would be strike two against uh, the people that I ordered this bumper from. I'm actually gonna call Smitty Belt because Smitty Belt's kind enough to put this big thing 
in their uh, in their package. If you're missing hardware or components or in need of technical assistance, please contact Smittybill. It was a third-party seller of Quadratech because the box had Quadratech stickers all over it. The box was pretty mangled when it came and oh, had a big hole. So I'm assuming wherever these plates were supposed to be probably fell out through the hole because the box was so damaged. Plymouth Valley Enterprises. I already sent them a message about the tire carrier missing. I sent them a message last night. I haven't heard back from them yet. It is Saturday. Maybe they're waiting till Monday to get back to me, but if we don't have those steel plates, we're pretty much not gonna be able to mount this bumper. Oh my God, your frame's on fire. Literally, your frame's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> when you got a rusty bolt and you heat it up, uh, everything expands and the rust just cracks. So, when you got a really tight bolt and you can't get it off, instead of snapping it off or just struggling with it, just heat it up, and it'll come right out. This is also matte gas, instead of, you can use like, I mean, they have all sorts of stuff, but map gas heats the most, it's the hottest. So instead of spending, you know, a whole tank of gas on trying to get a bolt loose, this will heat it up a lot faster. And when you do this, you got to make sure you're, you're heating up the oh, nut. Look at that. You want to heat up the nut, not the bolt, because you don't want the bolt to expand and then it gets too big inside the nut, then it'll just get tighter. So you heat up the nut so it'll expand, give it more room. Yeah, we were literally lifting up the entire Jeep. And don't touch that. Cool! Nice! Nice! So we got all of the original bumper stuff off now. And... This is when you're like, I wish I would have bought a Toyota, right? Yeah, I've said that a few times. <laughs> Install two nut plates. All right, there's our problem. 3925 into the rear frame rails and align the nuts with the outer slots yeah, of the frame. Yeah. Drill out four holes in the center of the frame. What? Yeah. Half with inch, the what's half, what? Half inch, bowl, half inch drill bits. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I can tell you right now I don't have that. <laughs> so... There's supposed to be these two plates and they have welded nuts attached to the plates so that you slide them into here and that gives you nuts behind here to, to screw the bolts into. The reason you need the nut plates is because once the bumper's in place you can't get back here. So we were just thinking about going to the hardware store and buying the right size nuts but we have no way to hold the nuts in place right. to put the bolts in because this is all going to be blocked by the new bumper. So the fact that we don't have the nut plates that are supposed to come with the bumper is kind of putting us in a pretty crappy position right now. And we might not be able to complete this installation today. Uh, I'm slightly disappointed. <laughs> or oh, whatever. Those, are, those had a different name. Right, I don't know what the name is, but this is somewhat of what we need. It's a welded nut to a bracket. That way you can just put it in there and it, you know, when you put the bolt in, it's not gonna spin. This will jam up against the frame. And when you tighten it, It'll stay in place. You don't have to hold it. That's what's missing. That's called a flag nut. Sure. It's called what we're missing. So we're gonna call Smitty Bill. Playing TMG. We're sorry, but at this time our offices are closed. If you know your party's four-digit extension number. Outstanding. So we're gonna move on. We got some other projects that we're gonna take care of today. So all is not completely lost. But for now, the bumper is on hold until we either get those plates. We can work a solution. I don't know, maybe Leo feels like welding. Maybe we can make our own nut plates. I, it's highly unlikely. And we're pretty much waiting on the tire carrier anyway. It's just that the bumper weighs about 180 pounds and kind of need two hands or two groups of hands. Four total hands to uh, put it on. So we came here, Leo took off of work today just to get this done and pretty much the only thing that we needed two people for. So it's kind of disappointing, but uh, it happens. I mean, that's life and um, this is what happens when you order crap from Amazon. Smitty Built is a Chinese company who pretty much didn't package everything correctly. So I'm assuming that it fell out. Again, I was saying before that the box had a giant hole in it from shipping, the box was all smashed up. The bumper is actually all scratched up too from the spot where the packaging was damaged. I just kind of ignored that. I just figured uh, stick it on, it's gonna get scratched up anyway, but 
missing hardware so for now we are on hold as far as putting on the rear bumper cool let's uh let's do some work yeah leo decided to just we just threw the bumper on just to piss me off even more but that's what it will look like when it's done next week or the week after or next year so we are uh about to install these tiger armor rock rail slash side steps for the jeep uh just kind of replacing the plastic ones so we have like a jacking point uh you can't jack the jeep up on uh on plastic so we're adding the metal steel side steps they actually bolt right to the frame and the uh, pinch seam so three points of contact on the actual frame of the jeep so we put a lot of weight on them kind of looking forward to using them as uh, steps so i can get to the stuff on the roof rack and just basically replacing plastic so we have more protection on the trail stuff like that this probably weighs like I don't know, like, like 300 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like the stars. Yeah, they're pretty cute. I like them. <laughs> Here, you want to use these? These this, are great, man. This isn't going to hey, work. Hey, hey, hey. This isn't going to work. Is it? You want these? <laughs> they look badass. Look, check it out. Sweet! <laughs> so while we were putting this thing on, which is the last thing we decided to do, which was a bad idea because it was a total nightmare. Took hey, us, well, how long did it take us? Like two and a half hours? Your drive shaft's, your drive shaft's already leaking. Are you serious? Tiny bit, yeah. Oh, <sighs> so what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're actually talking about right now is because we have a lift on here what's that thing called again the cv joint is at a more extreme angle it's right there it connects to the transfer case which is the transfer case is how you shift into four-wheel drive it engages the front drive shaft um, because it's at an extreme angle it's already starting to leak because it's pointed more down at the ground so we just noticed that now probably not a major issue right now and probably won't be a major issue until tomorrow <laughs> Until we've probably driven, I would say, 10,000 miles, roughly the amount of time we're going to be on uh, Transmatic Trail. So that might be something we have to fix before we leave, or we're going to have to fix it on the trail. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so That's last, time, last time we were here, we, these are adjustable control arms, which means you can adjust the length of them to fit the specifications of how high you're lifted. And while we're down here, I'm just kind of checking things with my hands and the adjustment nut, which is this thing, should be tight and it's not tight. So we're gonna have to tighten that up. These were all things that we're gonna check before we hit the trail, obviously. They look kind of tough, man. I like them. Tiger! Tiger. Four stars, not five stars. Eight stars, bro. Just four. Eight. Lighter. Found a lighter on the So there last too. time he was here, he brought his GoPro and it's missing if i find it right now i will do backflips so we're because looking i've been the through badlands there's no way though <laughs> yeah so i had set it here that's the last place i remember seeing actually this side because i was doing some slow-mo of leo cutting some metal with the grinder and i thought it'd be really cool and then we ended up messing around with some other stuff and i set it here and it stayed there for the rest of the night Last the place I remember seeing it, but I haven't seen it since. So either one of his neighbors have it or Leo has it and he's not telling me. <laughs> but yeah, it's not in here. No, it's not. What's up, YouTube? Put the knife down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Put the knife down, man. It's gonna hurt somebody. <laughs> All right, companies need to get their, you know, their act together because Stop selling stuff without stickers. Seriously, I'm trying to promote your Come stuff. on. Well, as per usual, we don't need Useless that. instructions. <laughs> oh! Ooh! Yeah, baby! We haven't seen the sun seen the in three what years. Is, what is going on? Yeah, it's, 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 does it feel like we just came out of a cave? What is that? Oh. Really? This is where he's like, oh, I'm going to put his impact here so then he can just fall. God. Wow. Can't trust anybody. Wow. Oh, nice shirt, man. Thanks, bro. Nail rated. Perch that merch, yo. Link in the description. Perch that merch. 
Oh wow, this guy totally doesn't overland or like off-road. <laughs> But then I see your stickers and I'm like, oh, okay. So yeah, just, just so you know, I've been just to Just so you know, he was there at the store, bought the sticker and went <laughs> home. Oh, come on. It's mixed. This is two part epoxy. Two liquids, mix them, glue. In case you didn't know what epoxy was. I've been mixing epoxy for 17 years. You have, that's cause you huff it. Yeah, I got a, <laughs> yeah, a lot of issues with it though, but. Got our rehab, poxy rehab. <laughs> it was a two part program. <laughs> <laughs> roof rack's done. I mean, no, roof not. rack's done. It's not. It's no, not? it's not. You gotta get this. <laughs> oh man. What, what is that? I don't know. Somebody had something down there. Damn. That looks good. Yeah, no, thanks. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so we're uh, we're actually gonna put the old bumper back on. I don't really want to drive around for uh, who knows how long this is gonna take for them to resolve getting the uh, tire carrier. So, Doug, I'm taking the mud flaps off the bumper because I might go off roading this coming weekend. And last time I went off roading, the tires were rubbing on the mud flaps. So since we're putting the old bumper back on, just wanted to take these off without having to take the wheels off because otherwise I can't get to the screws. Yeah, I'm not having much luck over here. Done, so. This guy. Bye. This freaking guy. <laughs> Done. Done. Man, that's ugly. Man, that looks so nice. Like everything else is powder coated. <laughs> See, I just wanted to cut him. It's here. so sad. Dang. Story time. So this past summer, it was a beautiful day, and I came home. My wife was sleeping after an overnight shift. And I really wanted to take the top off. And normally I, 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 had, I had only had the Jeep for like a month and every other time I took the top off, I let my wife come out and help me do it. And it was nice and easy. Instead, this particular day I came home and I watched a bunch of YouTube videos of guys doing it by themselves. So I tried to do it by myself. I set up a couple speakers on the ground and I got it up on my back and I had it nice and balanced. And I took a step and I was good. And I went to go step down onto the next speaker and the first one gave out and I dropped the, the, the roof and it started rubbing on the side of the Jeep. So I just threw it and it hit the ground and shattered the window. So when I ordered a new window, I didn't realize that it didn't come with this little plastic trim piece and I can't get it off the old broken window. So ever since then, I've just stuck a piece of foam in here and it's been holding this shut. It's been doing a good job. But uh, now with the new tire carrier, it's uh, now it's a problem the new tire care I don't have yet but when I have it it's, this thing's just gonna flop around so I gotta get this piece I gotta glue it on to do whatever it is that you do to get it to stay but that's my story I'm sticking to it it's a terrible story I thought it was funny <laughs> you so I'm Braxton yeah. I'm behind the camera but I'm gonna be in front of the camera I'm trying to get used to talking in front of the camera it's kind of weird I'm trying to get on him What's up? to have more energy <laughs> I can't see the screen right now so this is kind of, we're testing things out. Yeah, man. Sounds good to me. All right, so we just came down here to Wayland Lake in Chicago, uh, just to take some nice pictures of the Jeep. Finished up pretty much everything. We got the rock rails on, we got the roof rack on. Big thanks to Leo for uh, you know giving me a hand today, taking some time out of his busy schedule. Make sure you check out that contest. Link is in the description below. We're running a contest right now and you could win a pair of inner fenders, front and rear from Rough Country. Check out that link. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.